today on the TMZ Podcast. Hello and welcome to the TMZ Podcast. I'm Charlie Cotton and today I'm joined by Eric Colley. How are you, Eric? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you very much. Uh, we got you in because we got some big music stories today. Taylor Swift. I mean... We got, double news. We got double Taylor Swift news. We could just do three Taylor Swifts if you want. Yeah, it's, it's her world. We just live in it. <laughs> I think it basically is. <laughs> but we'll also talk about um, Kanye and Bianca Sensori, his Australian wife. Um, they had an impromptu photo shoot in Florence, Italy yesterday. It's right. making a lot of waves. And she was fully dressed very tastefully. Yes. No, no <laughs> never. No, nope, not her thing. She was fully dressed, but in a nude bodysuit. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Uh, we'll talk about Travis Kelsey and Taylor. A lot of people think that this might be the weekend that they take their romance public. Possibly. Possibly. Or do they drag it out until her movie comes out. Yeah, they'll probably drag it out for headlines. Taylor's <laughs> just the best marketer. Um, to begin with, though, the biggest story in the world, Joe Jonas, Sophie Turner, God, what a messy, maybe the messiest divorce I've ever covered at TMZ. It's going to get so much uglier too. Yes. But, you know, they're obviously they're fighting over the, the custody of the kids. She's in England. He's in America. Uh, the kids are here. She's in New York right now seeing the kids. And she said that Joe abducted the children. Yeah. Basically that she, he took their passports, won't let them go back to England with her. He's saying she's now violating what a judge in Florida said that the kids, that neither parent can take the kids. Right, Basically. right. So when they when Joe filed the divorce petition, um, one of the things that the court ruled was that neither parent can like relocate the kids. The kids are here for now, wherever they are. I guess they're in New York. There, and they were you, they were born in the U.S. They've lived most of their lives in the U.S. Like their, their passports in American. This is home to them, basically. This is home. I mean, you know, they're they're one in three. So I mean, they don't even know that yeah. countries exist. Like yeah, just, it could change, and they won't remember any of this. But. Right, right. But I mean. Joe clapped back hard at this abduction claim. And I mean, maybe this abduction claim was a bit like over the top. I mean, because when Sophie and her lawyers, so her lawyer said it, but on her behalf, when this abduction claim was made, the kids were in Sophie's care. She had the kids while claiming <laughs> Joe's abducting them. Right. They're with her in New York. Right. Right. So, so Joe's like, what are you talking about? And and this is a thing. I think I, I think the majority of like child abduction cases are this, where it's like two people are separating, divorced, whatever. And then one of them who doesn't have custody takes the kids. Right. That's what a lot of it is. Like you, we think child abduction, like somebody grabs a kid off the street randomly. But a lot of it is one parent who doesn't have custody taking the children. And that's sort of what she's implying here. And he's like, that's preposterous. Yes. Yes, where the kids are with you. I mean, she wants those passports. She, she wants him to hand over the kids' passports so that she can permanently move the kids to England. And he's saying, no, I'm not going to give you the damn passports. <laughs> right. A, because it's against like what the Florida court ruled. And B, because you don't have a right to take them. Like The, the court will have to decide which parent is most fit, where the kids are going to be happiest. And... and They'll have to go with that. But for right. now, they're both in New York. The kids are in New York. And it's just playing out just publicly like they both well, hate probably. Yeah, and, and obviously, the, no judge has determined custody yet. No. But but that's basically what this is. Like, if she takes the kids to England, she's not bringing them back. No. And then she has custody. But from her point of view, if he has the kids here in the U.S., then he has custody. Mm. So, you know, the, the whole thing, this all, I, I'm so dying to know what was on that ring video. You know, I, he said there was a ring cam that... She did or said something, and that's when he knew that the marriage was over. We will find out. We will find out. Once this goes to court, that's going to be his smoking gun, apparently. And but what could be on there that would make a judge go, uh, okay, the kids stay with Joe? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's cheating, because it seems like he would have said that. Yeah. The way he's being like, she said or did something. But also, even if it's cheating, does that make you a bad mother? No. So that wouldn't even rule in his favor I, then. I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know. This is going to get really nasty. Maybe doing drugs? Maybe, but we, I don't want to speculate that, but That's something, what, something. I love speculating. Or maybe it's nothing that bad at all, and then we'll find out and be like, this is what he was so upset about? Right, I, right. Who knows? But also, in this um, legal letter that Joe and his lawyers sent out, um, he basically said that he hasn't been besmirching her he he basically said the ring camera stuff didn't come from him. 
right. that, you know, it got out there, but he's only been like trying to be the good guy in this. And, and he never said what it was. Maybe, and maybe that's worse because then everybody speculates, but he hasn't said anything she did specifically. Yes. No, he, he, he hasn't. Um, he also said that he's happy for these kids to live like by continental right. lives. Like I'm sure we'll, you'd have to decide where they go to school and that sort of stuff. And they have summers over in, they could just have an endless summer type, you know, right. summer here, summer there. Summer. This could be great for these kids. I mean, yes, except for like, your mean... parents hate each other. <laughs> well, maybe not that part. Uh, yeah, but, <laughs> but you, you live a pretty glamorous life. Right. Uh, so Sophie was pictured out with Willa yesterday, their three-year-old daughter. Um, and Joe was pictured out with Nick, his brother. So they're, right. they're, they're all in New York. Yeah. The Joe bros and, you know. And Sophie was also out with Taylor Swift. Again. Again. Second time this week, they went out to, to dinner together. Uh, this seems also very deliberate. Yes. Because, you know, to be so publicly seen with the most famous person on earth twice in a week, mm -hmm. not sure what message that's telegraphing. Of course, Taylor Swift used to date Joe Jonas. Mm -hmm. So she's clearly picked a side in this. She has. And I mean, the first time I saw Taylor and Sophie together, I was like, here for the pettiness. <laughs> now that it's happened again, I'm like, Eric, imagine you're going through just the messiest divorce of your life. I mean, yeah, going through a really messy divorce <laughs> yeah, yeah. and, and custody battles. And then that week you step out twice with a vague acquaintance, like Taylor and her are vaguely friends, I guess they're running. I'm, I'm sure they've met, but she's the soon to be ex-wife of her ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Well, I, I couldn't think of anything I, I wouldn't want to do. Like, I wouldn't want to do that. I'd want to be yeah. on the couch. You know, watching TV, escaping it somehow. Um, but she's out with Taylor Swift twice in a week. And you know you're going to be seen. Like, this is definitely for publicity because, and, and you know, Joe has kind of controlled the narrative up to this point. Like, yeah. you know, he was pictured with the kids. He's said, you know, they're getting divorced and all that. We haven't heard a whole lot from Sophie. And she's still not saying anything. But uh, she's definitely making a statement being out with Taylor Swift. Yeah, she is. And And you were saying that you had thoughts on... The video that... Yeah, you watch the video. Obviously, there are a lot of photographers there. I mean, it sounds like, you know, it's like a machine gun. The flash is just like... Da, 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 da. Yeah. There's a part when they stop taking pictures and Taylor Swift is right there on the sidewalk and nobody asks her any questions. Nobody asks any Sophie any questions. You're a camera guy. Yeah. If you see Taylor Swift and Sophie Turner out, and, and you know they're not going to answer. Right. But you ask questions, right? Could you imagine Harvey's fury oh. if I didn't, if I just stood there? If you just and, stood there quietly and politely just filmed and walked away? I mean, it had never happened. No, and it's weird that there's these camera guys with two of the most famous people on earth, especially right now, mm. and don't ask them anything. It's almost like they were told, just take the photos. Don't ask about the divorce. Right, like you can take the pictures if you don't say anything. Yeah. So and, then Taylor and Sophie are seen, but not heard, which is what they want right now. So is this just a stick it to Joe or how does this help in her? I, I don't know. I'm not sure how it helps Sophie. Maybe it just rallies all the Swifties to her side. Yeah. Because we know they're very passionate. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. But yeah. you know, and Taylor Swift is sort of the, the model of girl power in 2023. Kind true, of. true. So maybe that this is like her stamp of like, she's the victim here. She's the one oh, like who's this. being wronged. Because that's what you kind of assume. Because Taylor Swift, that's her thing is guys wrong her. Yes. Sort of. I mean, that's usually what her songs are about. Yeah. It, um, and, you know, this is you know, the year of female empowerment in the mainstream media in that, you know, the Barbie movie, biggest right. movie ever. And, you know, it's, it, it's all about that. Taylor Swift, biggest music tour ever. And she's all about that. And I'm, and I'm saying this is a good thing. It's a good thing sure. that, you know, this is coming to light. And so for Sophie to link herself with the, sort of those ideas, m maybe is, you know, of, of use to her in these legal proceedings. Right. And, you know, can Sophie, you know, th th to that, that female empowerment thing, can she be a single working mom and, you know, shoot her movies and TV shows and have her kids and, and make it all balance and work. Why can't she? Yeah. She, so uh, this is just going to be, I feel for the kids too, just like yeah. being split up over the different continents. And then you don't know, this, this hits close to home for me because I got a kid. I'm Australian, obviously got an American right. wife. We're never going to get divorced. Thank God. But, yeah, please you know, don't. Yeah, I know, but like, because, but this plays on my mind, just like, this is how horrible it would be. Yeah, like, what, what if you and your wife got divorced, you went back to Australia, where does your daughter go? I mean... What do you do? I, I don't even like sort of thinking about it. Yeah. And it doesn't seem, I, I, I hope it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a realistic situation to me, right. but it'd be absolutely awful. The it'd one, be awful. The one nice thing is no matter how ugly this might get in the next year or so, these kids are not going to remember any of this. Yeah. They'll grow up knowing it, 
But like you said, they're one in three. What all the things happening now, these kids will never remember this. True. I mean, that is. I mean, I guess that's somewhat of a <laughs> some some silver something, lining there. Something. Well, Taylor is also in the news for dating, potentially dating Travis Kelsey. Ah, she is. They are. Come you, on. You think, you think they're definitely dating? Yeah. Why? Because Travis Kelsey, you know, that's been floated out there. These rumors that you know, and he acknowledges that he tried to get her his phone number. Uh, when he saw her concert, mm -hmm. and then his brother has been everywhere saying, yep, they're dating. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so uh, Travis goes on Pat McAfee's show and addresses it, and this is what he said about it. You hate that it's happening? No, I mean, it's life, baby. It's life. I threw it out there. I threw the ball in her court, and, you know, I told her, you know, maybe uh, I've seen you rock the stage in Arrowhead. You might have to come see me rock the stage in Arrowhead and see which one's uh, a little more lit. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens in the near future. I think Travis Kelsey, just take a bow. Like, yeah. I don't know if they're dating or not. I don't know how hot the romance is or if it's just like, I just There's something, there's something. Because they when they first asked him about it, he goes, I just think it's hilarious this has got so much traction. Really, the most famous woman on the planet and you who's also not a nobody might right. be dating and you think it's hilarious people care. Also, he didn't say no. Uh, but I think this is Travis. You would say no. Travis is like, you know, really trying to get the weight of public support behind this potential relationship. He, when he's throwing the ball into Taylor's court, he's been the only one talking about it. His brother's been talking about it too. Never right. heard from Taylor. I think he's wanting this to happen badly. He's willing that, it into existence. He's willing it. He's making us talk about it. He's making us, uh, we, we, I want it. Well, a lot of people want it. Taylor yeah. fans want it too. So I don't think that this was like a romance that sparked secretly and now we're finding out about it. I feel like he is pushing it along. But wouldn't she say something? If, no, they, if they're not, she'd be like, I'm not dating this guy. No, because it's not just like, you know, Lance Bass saying I'm dating Taylor Swift. <laughs> well, that would be interesting for other reasons. <laughs> right, right, right. This but, is Travis Kelsey, you know, America's most eligible man. And he wants to be with America's most eligible woman. And he's trying to will it so. And... Maybe he'll get it right. Like in this interview, he said he wants to see her at like a Kansas City Chiefs game. Yeah, he's like, I saw you at Arrowhead. You come see me at Arrowhead. So he doesn't need to say that publicly. He could just say it to her. Hey, you want to come see right. me play? But instead he's saying balls in your court, Taylor. So he's, you think he's just shooting a shot publicly? Yes. Was... Yes. And I applaud him for that. Because <laughs> he's, he's going to guilt or like bully her into dating him? A bit. But is it bullying? Because he's look at him. I know he's just he oozes cool. He's just the coolest guy. Look how cool he looks. Look how cool he I, sounds. You know, Taylor never publicly talks about her relationships, like okay. just in an interview. She's somewhere like she's she's at dinner with with Sophie Turner on the back of a napkin, writing like "You're in Kansas, I can't stand this." Like she's writing the song right now. Like that's how she will address this. But there's something there. Because ask me if I'm dating Taylor Swift. Are you dating Taylor Swift? No. <laughs> see, see how Ask easy me that if is. I'm dating Taylor Swift. You're dating Taylor Swift? Might be. She would say no. <laughs> She'd be real quick to say no. I'm not. <laughs> I, I, I know, but but neither of us is Travis Kelsey, so maybe exactly. That's it. There's no reason for her to say no. I'm not dating like this really handsome, strong, rugged man. No, I'm not. Like, <laughs> why would she? And she would. That's talking about me. People would say that's talking uh, about me. By the way. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> see how you see yourself. Um, but also, I love how Travis Kelsey gives his brother shit in this interview, saying right. like, "This guy, he just stays in the headlines because yeah. yeah, his brother. What's his brother's name? Jason. Jason. Jason's just always talking about it. Uh, that's the truest thing he said in this whole thing. He's like, I just want my brother to stop talking about my love yeah. life because whether he's dating her or not i don't want you talking about it these two boys the kelsey boys are playing a game and i'm onto their game but i'm also like i'm so, here for it i'm here for it i right. think it's hilarious and i hope he gets the girl and taylor plays games her way too yes. with her relationships so I, it's kind of fun seeing the guy do it too Will she be at Arrowhead this weekend watching the Kansas City Chiefs? Oh, I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. On the sidelines in a red jersey. Oh, right. That'd right. be fantastic. Okay. On to our final story. Kanye West, Bianca Sensori. They're in Florence now. This seems like they've been in Italy for like half a uh, year. Yeah. It's been a long time. Um, and they're very good at making headlines too, because they very deliberately went out to the streets of Florence in a very uh, touristy spot and did a photo shoot. Kanye with his iPhone, Bianca with her no clothes barely. Oh, she's completely covered, but it's it's a completely sheer nude bodysuit. So She looks like a sexy like Oscar statue. You know what <laughs> I mean? Same, same color. Like the Emmy, maybe. Uh, Emmy, is that what I meant? No, uh, yeah, 
I mean, I think the female one, so maybe that. Oh, okay. I don't know, but yeah, she looks like, she looks like an award. <laughs> she and she is like an award, like she's gorgeous. It, yeah, because Kanye, like, there's a huge crowd around him, and he goes to be part of the photo shoot to shoot her, and you can see the people are like, do we shoot Kanye or do we shoot her? Yeah. We don't know which one to get. It's it's also funny that she's you know she's covered, but she's still everything's kind of out there. Yes, Kanye's head to toe in all in black. His head is wrapped. His face is covered. He's got like a scarf wrapped around. Do you think they only get so much material per outfit, and he just takes most of it? Right, and she right. just gets whatever's left. I, he obviously wanted to make this about her, right. so I'm going to cover me, and she's going to be barely covered. And to his credit, it works, and the photos look great, you know, with these random people behind her. Um, it, it's a great idea. I mean, oh, to, yeah. what, to what ends, I don't know. But it's a great photo shoot. I, I kind of like this couple. And is he slowly making us forget about the anti-Semitism? Kind of, but not really. It depends on how offended you were by it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, no, some photo shoots don't make that all go away. But I wonder what, is this just vacation photos or... You know, Kanye's always got some sort of plan and he's always yes. doing something. Yes. Is there something behind this? Is he going to release like a coffee table book of his photos from Italy or Maybe. a modeling thing? Is he trying to make her famous as a, I, I don't know. I don't, I seem like there's something going on and I don't know what it is. Love him or hate him. He's a genius. Like he knows he, what he's doing. He's a fashion genius, not even talking about his music, but just the way he's, he's a marketing genius. Everything he does, people are glued to. And as I say, these photos look great. And it was yeah. a great idea. She, he's obviously dressing her like he dresses all of his right. women throughout his, you know, romantic life. Um, but sh she's down for it, obviously, and, and so she should be. It, it, she looks right. great. Well, I just, I'm wondering where they go. Where are they going after Italy? I thought they'd be done by now. There's, do they just live there? I, they basically live there. They where, basically live there. Where do they go next and what do they do? He's been on vacation for, like you said, like half a year, it seems like. And only in different places in Italy. And the Italians... Well, the government, at least. these The people in the back of the photo seem to love the nudity. <laughs> They're into it. But the government, the Italian government, hates the nudity, apparently. Yeah, and this is this is a step up for her, because the other day she wore a completely see-through top. Like, you could see everything. So. And the other day, like, he had his bare ass out on the yeah. boat, and she was doing whatever. We've seen a lot of them. We've seen a lot of them. <laughs> but still, I'd like, to we've see seen the egg. I'd like to see a little more. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, Eric, thanks for joining me, mate. All right, always fun time, Charlie. And we'll catch you guys here next week. Bye.